Hey guys, in this video I'll explain the best balance sensitivity for most people and the average for players playing competitively. So looking at the stats for this, the average value in eDPI, which is DPI times the in-game sensitivity, is 277. This could change, but it's super consistent because most of Valorant's pros have an eDPI of around the 200s range. Now what is that in terms of DPI and sensitivity? Well, it's around the sensitivity of 3 in 800 DPI. You can calculate DPI for yourself, just multiply your mouse DPI by the sensitivity in game and try to make it close to 280. Now of course, you might feel better having it in a 300s or 400s range, but as long as you're in that area, it's ideal. A lot of players are currently at even 1000 eDPI, which is super high, and it's gonna get some time to get adjusted to 300 or 400 and eventually 280. This is a good sensitivity because Valorant requires more of precise aim rather than quick aim. For example, if 1A was your main game, you would rather have a higher sensitivity because it's easier to do a 180 quickly. It rarely occurs that in Valorant that you do a full rotation. Usually you will want more stable aim because aiming at the head level as well as doing smaller adjustments is ideal for most situations. So is this the best sensitivity for most players? Well. 280 dpi is around 20 inches of mouse pad space to do a 360. I think over time it is worth it because higher sensitivity players do have trouble aiming consistently, especially in the head level. Aiming at the head level is hard when your fingers are really shaky and using your arm or forearm to aim is much more stable. Not only is it good for consistency, but it's also great for adjusting to small changes. If the enemy moves and you try to aim where they move, it's harder on higher sensitivities because you have less space to position your mouse. You have more control on lower sensitivities because there's more space on your mouse you can move on. Most players find this hard to adjust to, as mouse pad space is usually less than this. If you're trying to get used to this, I will slowly adjust to it because your arm will likely get tired adjusting to this. You will of course do worse at first, but over time, your aim will feel much more consistent and easier to control. I think investing in a bigger mouse pad and training your forearm to get used to it is going to be really worth it in the long run. Alright guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.